What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, what's good is your boy King Lamar, aka Tell Your Girl to Get Out of My Car. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. This is Jay Willard, the podcast killer. Fuck you, aka the podcast poppy, <laughs> aka the pop father. And this is Willow Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto motherfucking news Uh-oh. from your ghetto motherfucking gurus. <laughs> I guess. All right. Yeah. Wow. I don't. I don't really want to be known as a ghetto guru anymore. Yeah, because he messed it I, up. It's all I am. Messed it up. Dude, I'm a sophisticated. I'm nah, a. We the relationship gurus, famo. Oh shit. Facts. Yeah, I'm yeah, not a. Listen, it's it's all good. <laughs> He's a ghetto guru from East New York. <laughs> I'm from Crown Heights. Don't. Advice in a long, long time. Y'all. Because I think people scared of the advice we give them. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. If you haven't been here in a. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you just got here. <laughs> and, and since I first signed on, uh-huh. I've been consistent. His contract states. <laughs> right? My, one, my, my renewable one day contract. <laughs> every, two ways? That's what you my one day contract Yo. every Monday that I sign. I'm here. Yo. Fellas, fellas. Yeah, man. How was y'all week? What's going on? Uh-huh. Brethren. Talk to me. Mental health check. What's going on? Talk to me. I'm still mad about bandage okay. on my bandage. So it's like mad bandagey. Uh-huh. I'm going to need you to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I need to. No, you need to go to the hospital. To fix- you need to put a cast on. <laughs> no, you need to go to the hospital. You need to get reevaluated. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you need a second opinion. <laughs> you just you need a first opinion, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> You need an opinion. That's not yours. I need an opinion. 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 You just need something. You need an opinion. Yeah, Penicillin. One of the things. Wildin', I still got my fingers, so I guess I'm all right. For now. For, uh, yeah. I, he I don't, don't know. pinky and ring finger. He <laughs> yeah. <ain't> green. <laughs> he was like, mm, never going to use that ring finger anyway. Yeah, yeah, his middle finger jumped from time to time. <laughs> so how, how, was, how was your week, man? Week was great, yo. I just found out that I am officially working from home. Hey! Oh, no, nice. okay. I am working from home. I you just got the word home. today. Small victory. They really like gave me the little computer and everything. I'm working from the crib. Bro. That's lit. That's, that's amazing. Od lit for you, yeah. especially. It's yes. Lit. Yes. All right. That's a vibe. That's How a vibe, week, sir. Yeah. I'm still mad about Valentine's Day. Damn. You still? Damn. You still dealing you with the emotional. ramifications of Valentine's? <laughs> huh? I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm speaking for a lot of a lot of us out there. Okay. Okay. okay? I'm. It, I'm still a little. I'm saying. There's a lot of men it's gonna be who all still night. have he not he found one. I told you. I told he you. Found I, one. I told you that he, that was gonna happen all night. I had, I had a meeting about it. <laughs> what? <is it? laughs> I'm not doing it again. I promise you. Lying. Lying. That was a lie. I'm trying to listen, sir. Go ahead with your ram- ramifications. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> like, so, so basically, <laughs> I just know that there's the birds and the bees. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 go. Yeah, You're right, go, he, go, go. We literally, go we literally had a conversation, and I knew that this was going to happen. I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I can't wait to find a phrase I like. How was your week? How was your week? I don't, even, I don't know. The ramifications. <laughs> Fuck my week. I don't want to be here. Y'all yeah. treat me like how we treat, treat a dame. <laughs> how was your week then? Uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Wasn't too much going on. I got to buy cabinets for my crib, unfortunately. You got to buy cabinets? cabinets. Bro. That's a real homeowner yeah. response. Bro. You got to buy cabinets? Don't ask me. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you just bought the house. Oh, shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Listen, that's the most grown shit Remember? we've heard on this podcast. Thank you. <laughs> Has, have you ever had to buy a cabinet? <laughs> Nigga, anytime I walk through, cabinet, cabinets. <laughs> <Any> time, <laughs> he gotta buy. He gotta buy a cabinet set. <laughs> Nigga, he said cabinet. No, it. Listen, <laughs> you yo. Guys, did it? You gotta go. He said the set. You you got to throw this. He said, you had the sectional cabinets or is it just one plane? No, no, no. The L shape. No, no, no. It's mad at the Multiple money. doors. And, and nigga said, my cabinet's on two different walls. Look, look, it's the, you know how like it go from the small part above the fridge and it's long. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, let me ask you a question. Piece. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Didn't, didn't you just buy the house that, and it didn't come with cabinets? Cabinet. No, it, it's cabinet list. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cabinets in that motherfucker. So, man, two question. Are you going when you throw away those old cabinets? You going to throw away the uh, the syringes that we found in there too? Oh, oh they've been gone. wow! They've been gone a long time. Okay. Wow! Wow! He got rid of all nah, that. No, no, they, they was, Y'all they, forgot? Y'all forgot? Was, yeah, he got rid of. Yo, my boy bought a nice house. It just came with residue. 
No, that shit. From the last yeah, owner. It might have Ooh. been the construction people <laughs> wilding. Like, hey, yo, I'm tired. <laughs> like, <laughs> One of Joe Biden's first oh, initiatives. Like, oh, he got his glass pipe. He got his first glass pipe. God damn it. Yo, nah, okay, so we... So you book cabinets, Bro. you what you said? I work from home. Buddy. You work from home. You had a. You're still feeling the the effects. Of Actually, uh, uh, yes. Valentine's. Day. Um, but also, I have had. A, maybe people might be able to relate to this. I've had a one of my a brand new 2021 vehicle in the shop for over five months. Oh yeah, I remember that. And now they they're finally telling me that it will be ready on Friday. Hey, I'm sorry. Whip back. You feel me? It's late. Fuck was wrong with it for five months. You don't want to know. It's was sick. It's, it's, it's sick. <laughs> that shit got what my arm got. It has lovely. <laughs> that shit. Yes. This was your car guy. It man. got gang. Nah, great. so 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 basically right now, what's going on with the supply chain? The supply chain uh. is fucking everything up, okay? Mm-hmm. Like COVID yeah. is just messing everything COVID. up. Mm-hmm. And we didn't my, my car out of Kia K5 2021, black on black, very sexy. Um, my car literally did not have parts. It, it was missing like four parts for four months. Damn. Literally. A month apart. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> Damn. I'm good. Damn. It should I'm be good. cabinets. It was missing parts and, and there's nothing that they could do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. And nothing that they could do for cabinets. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Jimmy, you can just go to the store and buy that. No. Nah. You could buy a cabinet, but not cabinet. What you mean? You can't buy cabinets? <laughs> do it right. <laughs> wait, 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 so where are you buying your cabinet sack? He IKEA? Don't know. Yeah. Cabinet.com. Yeah. Nick, why are you making your face like that? Because it's special Cabinets wood. Cabinets are us. It's special wood? It's special wood. You could, did you have to pick the handles too? Yes. I just the little. I didn't want none. How expensive that shit was. Okay. Wait, so how the fuck you gonna open it? From the bottom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I don't like doing it. You just put a little slit. I hate niggas. Just put the little slit. Just open it from the bottom. Just put the little yeah, slit in it. Yo, yo, expensive, I'm not bro. gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Here's one highlight of my week though. One okay. highlight. I have been going to Walmart like every day. I've been going to Walmart every day. No, 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 no. Here's a second highlight of that. You've been stealing. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's been repurposing the content. Oh, he said, no. He said, oh, it's $49.99? No, it's $19.99. Hey, you thought, nigga. <laughs> what? Are you changing tags? Everything is scanned. Uh, okay. As, as, a, as, 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 pairs. <laughs> as a pack of gum. Yeah. You ain't seen the memes with six where the, pack of Have you gum. seen the meme where the dude walk up to him and he like, "Hey, buddy, you want to meet me in the back?" He's like, I'm, he's like, I'm going to jail, right? He's like, I'm going to jail though. Oh, that nigga put a whole eighty-five inch TV <laughs> under grace. <laughs> right. But it's so easy. Steal, yes, nigga, yeah. on purpose. It is so. I mean, it's easy on purpose. I never said I stole. I'm just saying. No, no, you you repurposed the content. I'm just saying. I, I bought lights. I bought all type of things, making my space look very festive. Yes. In a festive ocean. Ooh, tell you that much. All right, so <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna catch that, but just oh, trust but me. my week. Fuck y'all. I'm gonna talk about my. We literally week. never asked you. Never. You're, so exactly. Never do. So you know, so what I was talking about. What well, I was saying the, because my week topics so that we talked about. Right. <laughs> my week was so fucking dope, and I had something that's never happened Damn. to me in life. What happened? This is what happened to me in life. Um, yeah, we don't care. My, <laughs> my son is on winter recess right now, right? So okay. he's off of school. Yeah. He's chilling. He's so on winter life. recess? Winter recess. Winter, winter, winter break. The end of February. New York, they on winter recess, my nigga. What you talking about? I don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Oh. That's their schedule, nigga. That's what it is. Mm. The, the, the Friday before they finished school, they had Celebrity Day. Oh shit! You get to dress up and present your favorite celebrity. Nice. Don't tell me that boy did something sweet and cute. He, he dressed did up as you, Jay Willa shit. What would he do? Jay Willa. He dressed up was as his you. Celebrity. Yes. Wow. He wore he wore the What a Year T shirt. Wow. Wow. Oh, he fuck. played the clean version of water. That, I ain't gonna hold you. That's you have a clean version of water? Of course. I didn't know that. I just okay. That's impressive. Water's played. In- Yo, he had an exclusive. He is good. What? I don't have that. Come on now. <laughs> He played the clean version of water. Uh-huh. He also played the music video. The music video got stopped. Okay. Because it's Clearly. a little explicit. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no clean version to the music video. Yeah. But my son wanted to be me for Celebrity Day. Wow. And that blew my fucking mind. It's like, wow. so you cute, came from my nuts, bro. <laughs> <Gave this. laughs> no, no, you came from my nuts. And yeah, now, I, I, you know what's funny? Me growing up, I would never want to do anything my pops was doing because he wasn't there. 
Daddy, Daddy wasn't, wasn't there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. That's what they led cool. me to. Make, make it the joke. I'm sorry. Make they led me to. Make it the joke. I did him. No, but <laughs> it's in, what I heard. in my head, in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm doing something. That's what's up, man. I feel accomplished. So when we're asking about our week, I yeah. feel accomplished. No, that's I feel amazing, happy. Though. Shout out to you for that. I feel vindicated. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm doing something yeah. that I'm supposed to be doing. You know, and, and I'm happy for that because he felt so moved that he wanted to be me. That's dope. For celebrity day, that's, that's beautiful, bro. So he looks at you like a celebrity. It is, you feel me? Yeah, that's, that's that, really, that shit did everything. For more me. than a celebrity, you're as role model, all that. It is. Yeah. I just want to know what was the other kid's reaction. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Imagine they was like, "What is this? <laughs> I don't like that guy." What? Imagine the little girls just twerking. Like, <laughs> I'm like, "Oh no, I don't want that." <laughs> <laughs> Bust it. Tell them I'm gonna bust it. <laughs> Use your microphone. Uh, but we can hear you. Damn. Yeah, exactly. Jesus uh, Christ. He has no microphone it's etiquette. It's been like this. seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, seven years. <laughs> Mediator, moderator, road call, selective stitching, temporary level, always toxic, have a gas station pill, super soaker, barry. Oh, I forgot the super Ooh, soaker. Super soaker? Super soaker. I don't know what it was. We know. It was super soaker. Super was, oh, yeah, he was squirting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super yeah. soaker, barry. He what we talking about, man? In the club, uh, in the back. He be squirting. Today's my birthday. Hey, 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 happy hey, bum, hey, hey. happy big bum, 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 birthday to my dog. Birthday, girl. Happy I big birthday, so brother. I didn't try to. Yo, yo, I just, I just. What all the man? What all the man? Yo, I said happy birthday. You yes. finally is a grown old dirty thing kid as as much, about thirty seven years yes, old right yes, now. Yes. Blessings. Yeah, you finally got an old nigga back of the head. Like mm-hmm. you got the, the, no, the hot bro, dog no, nose. No, he, Come here. Oh, hey. He does. Turn, turn him around. Turn him around. Come, Come here. Up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit down, bro. They can tell you I'm next saying, to sit down. No, it's facts. I'm sorry. Your neck like, like the back of a preacher. No, you look like you preach. You look like you got tires. Damn. Got a Michelin neck. You look like a high school football coach. <laughs> No. I, like I used to play. That used to play. <laughs> I was all American. Freshman year. Freshman year. I was all American. I like that one. I like that one. Better. What the fuck we talk about? Um, what um, we talk um, about? Um, um, all American hit ass. <laughs> that NYC, our home, you know, the place we love and of course. And, and and respect and love. Oh it's been considered the most stressed out city to live in in the United States of America. It makes sense. <laughs> in 2022, New York, oh! City, New York City is the most stressed city in the United States of America. That's yeah. a fact. Um, we, we gotta talk about that. Yeah, for sure, for All sure, right. for sure, for sure. Um, I got a question. Would you ever go on a blind date like a friend hooking you up, but you never see the person ever? You don't know, have no clue what they look like. You can't see them beforehand. All you can do is walk up to the date. Don't answer. Blind. blind. <laughs> Literally right. blind. blind. in a motherfucker. Would okay. you do it or not? That's a, dumb. That's a good question, though. Cool. I have a question that I also want to ask y'all yeah. separate from that. And uh, we got the All-Star Weekend. Shout out to All Star Weekend and, about the, that. and the dunk contest. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Talk about that shit. Dunk contest, trash dunk contest. But um, we gotta talk about Kanye. Kanye. We also gotta talk about Kanye too. And <laughs> which topic of Kanye? Yeah, you're right. And we this gotta talk nigga. about Florida and the shit that Florida do when Florida feel like Florida. I think <laughs> facts. Florida be <laughs> Florida be Florida be Florida be Florida be Florida be <laughs> Yo, I looked at him like that. <laughs> Yo, are you okay? I caught him. Probably Florida. Well, Laura Hill said, I Yo, caught him. I 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 Yo, we thought he was I'm okay. dying. I'm okay. You good? I'm That nigga, okay. that nigga throat know. moved inside his neck. Yo. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Real quick, real quick. Let's, let's, that let's, nigga let's, whole esophagus. Let's, 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 let's get this out the way. Let's talk about All-Star Weekend real quick. You need Barry and Hella? Let's do yes, it. She do need Barry and yeah. Hella. All-Star <laughs> Weekend, okay. Let's talk about All-Star Weekend real quick. Um, Did y'all watch the game? I, I watched. I, I, 
watch it. I'm going to say this with shame. Huh. I watched every part of All Star Weekend. Really? You had mad time, cuz. Word. You had to. Cause there's a lot of shit. Once, once again, my son is on vacation. Right. I literally took off. I, I plan for this. Okay. I'm a good dad. Mm-hmm. I plan for this. Mm-hmm. He just trying to get Celebrity Day next year. Hell yeah. <laughs> I want two in a row. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. I want twerkers <laughs> next to him next time. I'll, let's just make it happen. But no, I actually had the time off. Yeah. To watch every event for All Star Weekend. Okay. I hated every event for All Star Weekend. Each one. Can we do away with All Star Weekend? Oh wow. No. No. Well, typically no. it's cool. No, you can't do away. So certain things is like I, I wouldn't. Trash. I wouldn't do away. No, no, I'm not talking about the events. There are certain things that's like a historical thing that brings everybody together, and you can't do away with All Star Weekend. I that's ra- a celebration of the NBA, bro. I'd rather you tell me. These niggas need a break. Let's let's just be off for a week and then we'll reconvene. I'd rather you tell me that. But the, what I saw, if we're going to talk about the celebrity game that was Friday, boo-boo. If you want to talk about Saturday, there's a three But the celebrity game is always boo-boo. No, no, but, but let me yeah, celebrity game is always so, And comma, yes, and um, Saturday night was three point. How was that? Three point is the best part of the night, the best part of the weekend. Right. It's a three point dunk contest. I'm be very honest with you. So yes, the dunk contest. Um, I didn't. I, I wasn't. I was working, so I didn't get a chance to watch it. But when I went on YouTube and I watched the dunk contest, I immediately had to go back to 2017 to watch the um the Aaron uh what's what's buddy name Aaron, Aaron Gordon. Gordon Aaron Gordon and Zach Levine's dunk contest Fire. just so I could have hope. In the dunk contest because the one that we watched last night was very bad. Last this weekend was very okay, bad. That was probably the the, the, the best. Yeah, a couple nights ago. Last best dunk contest was Aaron Gordon, everybody right? Zach Levine. Who did better than that? Current dunk contest was the worst dunk contest we've ever had. It was. But can we keep it a buck as to the reason why? I, I, why? Why this, do you think it was? There's only so much a hoop a human can do in the air. No, no, I disagree. Cool. So what I'm saying is as as the years go on, we're going to get less and less creative mm-hmm. because it's been done already. And I the agree. human body is limited. We can't do 13 spins in the air between the legs 10 times. We can't. I, I hear you. I disagree, though. OK, go. I disagree. Um, I just think that people don't care as much. I mean, when when Vince Carter did what he did. That was the greatest dunk contest. It, it wasn't that Vince Carter did something that was so amazing. It's just literally he thought outside of the box. Nah. No, you know what I'm saying? No, it was that amazing. Well, no. What, what is he talking about? You're what? Wilding. What I'm saying is everything that Vince Carter did, we can do now. In so, game. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm trying to say is someone needs to be creative. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, bro, you're a creator. Hold on, hold on. So I here, disagree. You're okay, a creator. Let me, let me go ahead and throw my yeah. point. So the reason why I I do get what you're saying, whereas one motion, imagine if shooting was the thing. Now we have to shoot in different ways, right? There's only so Wanna many kick the ball in, mother. There's only so many maybe. trick shots. Hold on, there's only so many trick shots you could do. I understand that, and eventually maybe the dunk contest will become obsolete to where we have to move on to something else that's exciting because dunking is not as exciting as shooting is a new thing now. You feel me? Absolutely. So, but but understand what I'm saying with shout this. Shout out to Steph Curry. Yeah, shout out to that boy different. Um, but he also kind of fucked I, up. I have literally sat there and watched um, YouTube where you have different guys doing different kind of dunks. There's this white boy who dunks, has go, goes around and is in different slam dunk competitions and he's dunking in jeans, but he's super duper creative. I went online and watched super duper creative people yes. do different kind of dunks. And in my mind, I'm like, yo, why don't they just do that in the All-Star game? Right. You feel me? Right. So at the same time, it's not that there aren't more creative ways to display this athleticism. It's just that either they're not choosing to do it or those type of people can't do it, bro. Right. And I, I personally believe that they're just making the choice not to. Now, Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon, that dunk off, they made the decision. The, they, like, they wanted to... Right put on a show they wanted to do some outrageous shit and that's what they did right i got two things on two different ends of the spectrum um with the what you just said 
the first thing I like the point that you said was the people that are involved in the dunk contest they just can't do what's going on. Right? We saw that this year. It was bad. No, it, it was terrible. But nigga did a windmill dunk just to do it. It's like we no, but it took him ten times. No, but seventh graders do that. But we do right, like literally seventh graders right now can windmill dunk. Sam. What, what happens is. We all know that one nigga that can just really jump high as shit, but mm-hmm. he's trash and ball, mm-hmm. right? We know that one nigga who's great with one thing, but can't do everything else that embodies a basketball player, right? So Zach Levine can jump his ass off, but he's a really good basketball player. Also, and I'm I'm sorry for the women who's watching right now. And yeah, like, we started with sports. Talking about we started with sports. I'm sorry. We're gonna talk about it though. So, <laughs> right, I can see them double tapping on YouTube yeah. right now. <laughs> going God on? damn! Like, <laughs> well. They get into the basketball specifics. <laughs> but no, <laughs> I thought you were talking about who's fucking like, doing all so we can talk about Kanye and Kim Kardashian. <laughs> no, fuck that. Um, what happens is, yes, the, the niggas who Zach Levine can do all, but play ball very He's well. Dope. But we do know the nigga who just jump out his ass. He's just a freakish athlete, sucking ball, but can jump. Deontay Jordan. Those be the niggas that do the dunk <laughs> contest on the on the on the one off. Deontay Jordan. He's not a great. Player. They can't play ball at all. They're never going to be in the NBA. Their total skill set can never be placed in the NBA. Right. They can just but jump. They jump. Right. So because they jump, they'll do some stupid shit and fucking do what they got to do in the air. What happens is we're dealing with NBA players. Right. Where I come in with your argument is I'm mad that the best of the best NBA players don't want to be involved. That's true. And that's the issue. The the the, the LeBron goats never want to do the, it. The goats of the game never want to be involved in a dunk contest like how it was back in the day. I don't get it. Fam, I would love young LeBron. I would love to see that. Young LeBron. When, like when, was, the, when was the last time I, I believe that someone was? I don't know who was, but when was the last time someone who was in the dunk contest was also in the All Star game. Like who? Nobody. <clears throat> who in the All Star game was also in the dunk contest? Nobody. And here's what I, I, I here, by design. Here's what I believe. I, I definitely think that the dunkers who are yo, bro, you look like <laughs> you are. He went through like mad emotions. Right so, yo, yo, like, my son looked like on. he he got hot earlier and he <laughs> <laughs> he feel the effects. <laughs> He took ecstasy. Boy, he rubbed What's going seat. on, bro? That nigga, <laughs> he that nigga rubbed himself. That nigga yeah. over there. Yo, boy, are you good? All right, cool. Oh, uh, <laughs> did that mean? <laughs> said nothing. It's his birthday. Leave, we gonna leave him alone. I think Bar said, mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like everyone who's in the All Star, most people who's in the All Star game, who are athletic, who could dunk. The dunks that they're doing on YouTube aren't super duper complicated to where you're athletic, agile, and you can jump like you're not dumb. You know what I'm saying? You could practice this and you could be lit. You have to put a level of effort, but why don't we see that? I can answer that though. Like, I, it's just I'm, not cool to them. No, no, they don't the, care. The YouTube dunker that you see just dunking his ass off on YouTube doesn't have to worry about guarding Steph Curry on Monday. And then guarding DeMar DeRozan on Wednesday and guarding LeBron on Thursday. He's just going out and dunking because that's all he got to fucking do. These NBA players that have to guard the worst of the worst, a.k.a. the best of the best, while still performing, while still doing everything, they now have to say, yo, in three weekends, get ready for a dunk contest. Yeah, but this weekend I have to worry about fucking... Whoever, I gotta, worry about, I gotta worry about these niggas coming in. We gotta win these games because we're trying to make the playoffs. So yes, we're 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 focused on our season and we're focused on whatever we got going on. And that's why I think the superstars. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. But I, I, I feel like the superstars are like, yo, we're busy trying to carry our team. So you want us to do all this extra shit? And to be honest, that's why I hate this new generation um, because back in the day. They dealt with the same shit they're dealing with now, but they was like, you know what? We put on a show for the people. Bro, my problem, we'll do some, we'll some hard globe charter shit. My problem with that, bro. My problem with that, bro, is they're in the three point shootout. There are people who are also in the. They're, they're getting ready for the All Star game, the Skills Challenge, 
right? And they're in the three point shootout. How they're in the three point shootout? Good way. If you're in the three point shootout, you're putting up three pointers in the gym anyway. And the fucking. You're dunking in game. You're dunking in practice. The Bulls had a whole dunk contest in a layup line. Three points and a dunk contest is two different types of athleticism. For you to gear up and go and dunk and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again. You ever dunked five times in a row? Yes. Have you? You've never dunked five times in a row. Yes, I have. Have you? You've never dunked five times. I'm, I'm six three. I know you for real. Have you dunked five I times know, in a row? I know you for real. I can dunk. You try to make a joke that wasn't I, funny because I know you for real. Have you dunked? I've never seen you. You how many times have you played ball? A lot of times. No, we haven't. About I four. busted your ass across seas, nigga. I whooped you. We were on the same team. No, nigga. Yes, we were. We, we, we were. You we won. Against... My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we won. We won. We was in Belize. <laughs> We are overseas champions. We set the whole boat. But yes, I've done five times in a row. Cool. How tired were you? Hmm. How many? You, you shot five times in a row? Mm hmm. What? How much tired were you with both? <laughs> Your point is made. Okay. Literally, I, I just made a point, right? So to it. dunk, I get it. and then dunk, uh, and then dunk. I was wrong. I, I got it. I, I, I hate when somebody tries to. How tired are you? Are you? <laughs> You did that. You know that. I literally tried to make a simple right. point. Go, you go, go ahead, Jabari. So, what you so say? Dunking 20 times in a row or shooting 20 times in a row is a different level of tired. I get it. So you could just shoot all day and it's okay. I get it, man. At the end of the day, I, I do think that... The superstars need to be involved. I get it. Yeah. And I think we just need to take it and be, you know, if you're going to do it, it's like, do it. Like, actually do it. Don't don't bullshit, you know, and don't be the weak niggas. But I, I think at this point, there's no incentive for these niggas to do it. They, so they don't get paid extra money? I, I don't know the contract. To make the All Star game, yeah, they get incentives. Like to do, but like if you win, the All Star weekend is for the get, fans. To get, it's not for to, the employees. Right. Imagine get. your job had an All Star weekend, oh, and it's like the greatest employee. Yo, you, that, you know what? Go out. You like fuck this weekend. You know what? You relax. just you just made me mad. Get, Cause I'm trying to say, I don't want to be part of the greatest fuck employees. This, fuck this <laughs> Are you serious? You get, you get fuck an, this whole weekend. You get an incentive to make the All Star team. I never even no, thought about that. All Star game. Not the dunk contest. Not no, the other shit. Just, That's just extra not work. The skills challenge. That's overtime. I literally just said what you, I said to make the All Star team. But, but, in this no, no, no. Yes, but we're also we're talking about All Star weekend. No, that, the niggas who want the, the yeah, three point shootout. They're not the All Star weekend. Question. Yeah, if you you get an oh shit, team, that is extra work. But that's the point. I want to relax. Oh wow. I feel That's like, why niggas is not doing it. Shut up, Jason. Be <laughs> you more assertive, nigga. No, because we had a conversation. <laughs> Jason's a bad bitch, bro. Yeah. Uh oh. There you go. You got Shot. One. Damn, already. And you owe another one from last week, too, by the way. He owes three. Three, technically. I counted. That's four now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, ain't no statute of limit. It's, it definitely statute of limitations on shots. Anyway. Okay. Y'all better catch me. Y'all catch me. I feel like they just need to just change the game for the. <laughs> Damn. Change the game. Change they, the game. They need to change the the the, the, the contest in the All Star game. Honestly, that's just me. They need to implement a one-on-one -on -one game for NBA players, and they also need to implement a um a one-on-one -on -one and a two-on-two -on -two game. If they implement a one-on-one -on -one and a two-on-two -on -two game, it would make it way more competitive, and it would make it way more. Worthwhile for people to watch. For me, I agree. That would be cool. Niggas is not doing it. I would love to see a KD versus LeBron one on one. Niggas is not doing that. <laughs> that hurts the brand. It's one on one. No, it doesn't one, hurt. The, it doesn't hurt the brand. It hurts the brand. We actually have seen. We have seen an example of that from. No, 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 no. We've seen it from the USA. From the, you, you remember the USA? Uh, but you can where they were playing dribbles, doing when they, were, dribbles, yeah. when they were doing King of the Court. You would say, and that was, I was very, I was no, like, God damn, no one that. could be guarded. But that's the point of it. Don't you raise so, your hand you know, now. Bro, I'm, I'm going to raise my hand so I can be called on. But what happens is that footage that we saw was it not. It wasn't going hard neither, though. That's what you have to also remember. I mean, you're going to kill each other. The footage that we saw was not supposed to be taken. Oh, yeah, sure. It was just put out. Uh, We're now talking about the national stage. LeBron's brand is that he's the best basketball player in the world. If LeBron gets clapped by KD, fucking Boo Boo the fool, we don't no, know. No, who no, no, no. But I'm saying KD. No, what, what I'm saying is we don't know. It's a one on one, right? So if right. you're the best, but you get beat by somebody who we don't see to be the best, 
your brand is now hurt. They're not going to be involved in something like that. LeBron That's don't want to get beat by fucking name a, a random. Bro, there's multiple rookies. There's multiple young people who have, even in the recent nah, you years, don't want, nah, you don't want to do that. you're missing my point. You won't want to do that. I'm literally telling you. I agree with you. Actually. How? Nothing that he said was agreeance. He said there's a bunch of rookies that probably have a high... I'm, now, I'm I'm saying that there are even in real games there are there, there are rookies or whatever who have highlight moments on LeBron James in real games, like the J- Jason Tatum dunk. There's another dunk that happened in the past couple months that was wicked on LeBron James. There are people um, LeBron has touched Earth before, literally. Yeah. LeBron cool. gets Jay. So is- what I'm saying is what I'm saying is. That already goes on, so that's not something to really no, run away from. No, because you can no, live. No, and the reason why I disagree is we're not talking about a highlight moment. We're talking about the best in the world goes up against Jason Tatum, right? Jason Tatum's a good basketball player, Jason, but yeah. Jason Tatum smacks LeBron around, beats this nigga eleven to seven. Okay. We're now going to say, "Oh shit, LeBron ain't shit." You got beat by Jason Tatum. Yeah. LeBron is not signing up for that. Yeah, the memes would be crazy. What the fuck are you talking about? The be- t- we're talking about a one on one. But what I was uh, okay, all right. my skill versus your skill. Oh, wait, 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 you <laughs> you on ten, brother? Yeah, um, you <laughs> did you say pre workout before you came here? <laughs> I think he did. <laughs> all right, you're right. I shut up. <laughs> just on ten. Um, what I was saying is take my shot. By the way, all I was just saying, and listen, then we we can move on after this. But I was just saying, my ho- oh, that's a shot. That's one as Oh. All I was saying was, yes, don't do the best be. versus Boo Boo the Fool. I'm talking, but I'm talking to you, damn it. <laughs> I was just saying, do the best versus the best. That's why I'm saying, do LeBron and Giannis. Do KD and, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that would just be a cool spectacle. Like, if back in the day, if it was Ewing against Jordan, I don't know, I'm just picking people, but, you know, whoever, you know, that would just be cool, you know? It would just be a cool, fun thing to happen. You know, I personally would like to see Isaiah Thomas, uh, old Isaiah Thomas, go against Jordan because they always had beef in, in, in life. So that would have just been a cool thing to see. You know what I'm saying? Magic versus Bird on a one and one, one on one, that'd be fire. That ain't Boo Boo the Fool. That's two brands going against each other out of fun. It's cool for you because you're the viewer. What yeah. I'm saying is the individual with the brand. Yeah. This nigga, who's the best boxer? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd. Right? I'm, he's 50 and 0. His brand is built on the fact that he's 50 and 0. But that's why we wanted him and Pacquiao. Understood. So if Floyd had an all-star weekend and another good boxer, he had an exhibition, and Floyd get knocked out, that hurts his brand. All right, we not, all right I, I got it. Not, I got it. You just argue. You just honestly, you just arguing a point that we're not saying. So yeah, we just you just arguing a point that we're not saying. That's all. I'm no. I, I, I agree with that. <laughs> You're right there. I said KD and LeBron. I didn't say no, LeBron know, and bum ass nigga. You know, it, could, it could be KD and LeBron, but what I'm saying is they're not going to sign up for that. The reason being is no one wants that L on their record because that hurts their brand. And we're okay. not, not arguing basketball, that. but their brand. We're not arguing that. LeBron is the witness. You witness his greatness. If he gets beat All Star Weekend on a one v one, like you said, you want to see. You want to see a one v one, a three on three. Niggas don't. They're, they're not going to sign up for that because if they lose. That's it for their brand. It takes a hit. And I agree. Got I you. Know when LeBron gonna... loses what he does, he blames his team. Every time. But I got you. You missed I'm it. Not you missed it. You fucked it up. It's all these niggas. All these niggas that I picked. Nah, I've seen LeBron take we accountability got, for we multiple. Got, we, got, we got to dub this one, y'all. <laughs> we got to move on. <laughs> Media the moderator, road call, selective <laughs> station, temporary level, always toxic, half a gas station. Pill. All the women love super soaker. <laughs> Bari. I don't want to call him super soaker no more. I don't feel comfortable. I mean, he the one that squirt. Uh, <laughs> With the rose toy on the gooch. No, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> no, I, actually um, th- I actually thought about it the next day. I got a question for you, right? <clears throat> and this is this is this is something that you can you can choose to not answer if you feel like it. But have you ever had a young lady in your life that? Go ahead. What you just always introduce as a focus, young lady. Focus, focus. Oh, what? No, but just uh, anyway. Just, it's always a young. Have lady. you ever been in the situation where <laughs> there was a young lady that it's an old bill, pretty much where you felt like that you should have 
that you wish that you could have got it back in the day, but time passes. And now that you've upgraded in life, she's not necessarily not what she used to be, but because of what she was in the past, you do touch it. Have you ever had that habit to you before? Welcome to being 30. An uh, old joint that, that used was to be fire. fire. Yes. That's no longer fire. But have, because you remember that they're fire, you still want to touch t- them. Have you touched it? Bro, that's no. No? No. You're asking me in my life, have yes. I? No, I haven't. Ooh, I have haven't. you? I haven't. I'm 30 plus, bro. That's my whole life. <laughs> what you mean? I, what? If I meet any chick, like, remember me from high school? I'm like, Ugh, okay. No, but, 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 <laughs> but, but I, 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 tell, I tell you why <laughs> I haven't. I tell you why Jeez. I haven't, right? <laughs> <laughs> if if I did go out on a limb, I'm talking me now. If, mm. if I went on the limb and I'm like, yo, then if I went on a limb, this then, is before any relationship, by the way. Oh, of course, I, I, I'm not worried about none of that shit. Uh-huh. Um, if <laughs> I, <laughs> he's very worried. So, cool. If I went out on the limb then, and I made it known that I would, I, I was interested then, and you curved me. Mm-hmm. And then you double back when you see I'm popping later in life and you're not so popping. But, maybe, but wait, but wait. Let me, let me, let me, I was about to say, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not a curve. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's just she just in time. Right. You know what I'm saying? She got a situation and it just, it just can't happen. Like, you know, they, they don't, be, you, you don't have to make it such time. a direct. So, 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 so okay, so ask the question. So, so, take everything Sometimes, personal. Yeah, he made it personal. Back like, oh, you dub me. You wanted shit, Back then right? they didn't for want me. Whatever reason, whether she had a long term boyfriend. And she was good. Yeah, whatever. If the timing wasn't right, you couldn't get no. But pussy. then she fell off, right? That's time what you're saying. Who's forward? It is what it is in life, and now you have the opportunity to get the pussy today. Not you didn't say that initially, bro. You're changing the question. When well, I say well, no. today, but <laughs> but we're trying to change it so you don't make it a person because you you yeah, made it instantly. I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, well, you dug me no, in. No, Fuck you now. No, based on his question, he said she fell off and now she's on your body. That's what I he apologize. said. Like, cool. In that I'm case, wrong. I did say that. But you're you're not is, wrong, but I see where you. I, I see where you're making sense of it. Um, <laughs> you're, you're, you're curving the you know the conversation. What I'm saying <laughs> is pretty much: Have you ever been in a situation where shorty from the past was fire? Now. Future tense or present for whatever reason, present, past tense, whatever, what? because it's not present. That's parsitable, right? It, you know what I mean. Parsitable, it's all bad. Shorty comes Why you around, got the microphone? And, <laughs> this is I don't know. Megan, Megan, mic stand because we, 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 we gonna have mic stands. <laughs> Since we all here for it, since we all here for it, say I need titties. Yeah, you need some titties. No, no, you need a, uh, you need a uh, think of a jiggy. Hey, listen. Oh, yeah. Right. We're gonna have mic stands in a couple right. weeks. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, let's see. He's trying to put his. He's trying to clinch the mic in his breast. <laughs> hold on. Let's see. Hold on. <laughs> put that shit in your cleavage, my boy. All right. Okay. All right. Wait. 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 Are you gonna try again? This is this is crazy. Put in your muscles. Hold on, hold on. Squeeze your teeth. Get your ass back, gay. <laughs> wow, gay. A nigga could put his dick right there, bro. <laughs> wow. I, you know what? You like 50 cent hanging upside down. <laughs> what? <Why? laughs> Muscular fish. Muscular fish? No. <laughs> Work on fish. Strong no. fish. King crab. <laughs> I know swords in there got fish. No. King no. shark. So, yeah. You can't. You said no. That was that was cool. Cool. Go ahead. You I'm sorry. Said, it's hard to come back you from. Said, you oh, said a microphone wait, wait, in your titties, bro. Can I, can I go ahead? Can I go <laughs> ahead and respond? It's hard to recover. Bro, you, you, you did can that I with respond? Pride. <laughs> I got pride. That, that was your idea. Yeah, prideful titties. Power. And titties. <laughs> we have titties. Yeah, Titty power. I, 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 hold on. Hold on. Back when the fire joined that in the past. Fire, so here, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, I I, I rate I rated on um, my decisions is based on what Shorty got going on right now. I'm not about to um, if Shorty was a nine back in the day, but she's a five right now. If my standard is not accepting fives, I'm not accepting her. You feel me? Ain't nothing that got going on. Oh, she played me in the nah. Is if you are below my standard at the moment and what my situation, I'm not taking fives. Right now, I'm not in a, a five state of mind. I'm not touching you. Wow. Does that make you fancy? I'm not about being fancy because all it is 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 you are trying to relive and satisfy 
something just say your glory days like right, shorty but, glory days but, we, but if, i'm trying to but because you got to understand you're about to be hitting shorty and she's not what she was bro so i'm not about to i'm not about to hit shorty and be like yeah bro and when i was in 12th grade and we were 17 she had the wild fatty now she just has the wild fat everywhere you feel me now you got 10 kids like looking crazy like now, and, gotta be honest, and no, nothing is up. you so n- for so me you're not rocking with kiki wyatt no um for, all right listen for me in. listen one album two singles for me she looks <laughs> I, I, i'm assuming she looks appropriate but but listen we're and talking about i'm talking one album two singles ten kids bad though <laughs> okay she's bad is she though? I'm just, that's fine. I don't know. I, okay, I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> I've heard she, the name. He said she's bad. But is she though? <laughs> I don't know. Yo, Jay. So, so, li- so listen, so listen, so listen. Sorry, so listen bro. so what ahead. I'm saying, personally, I'm not going to touch a girl <laughs> just because she used to look she used to look good. If because she used to look good. She used to look good yeah. and she was really great. She was the shit. If if that's not who you are. If you don't meet my standards when you decide to come around so or let me, ask you, let me ask you a real question. And this is for everybody on the panel, right? Let's say she was a nine. When? When you when you wanted it. When I wanted it, but yeah. what is she when I finally can get it? Cool. A three? What if, no, no, no. I'm not gonna violate. Go ahead. What if she's like a six and a half, seven? On a good day. On a good day, she's about to well, okay, seven. What am I? What? Seven hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 what no. am I accepting right now? I don't know. But what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. My point is. No, when you met her, when you was on her body, she, she was nine. Like nine. Cool. Life happens. Whatever. She had a kid. Kids. Okay. Now she's a six and a half. On a good day, makeup hit. You know what I'm saying? Some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I hit. Proper. Okay. Okay. It's a seven. Okay. If I'm accepting sevens at this point in my life, you is ducking the fade. Nigga, I'm not ducking the fade, bro. All right, let me let me go ahead and talk to y'all. And, and the, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Being ducked is because we have rosters. My nigga, I'm not ducking yeah. no fade. And we have are, rosters. Are, we all have and rosters. we all have your nine. Wait, a current roster? No, or? no, no, no. no. No, so you want no. I, let me. I can explain it. Mm-hmm. You, you, we have our nines, our eights, our sevens, and then we had them fives, them sixes, and then you know we got some scraggly little ass two threes that on a drunk night at four in the morning, nigga. Yeah. You trying to tell me that? Else to answer me, hey. No, no. Like, I come. Yeah. Are you talking about? Are you I'm come? Are you talking about right? I'm ready. No, I'm ready. right now. Just in general. In his no, no, no. In general. It's not. It's not in general so situation. So are you talking about history? Or are you talking about right now? I'm because standards it, evolve. But you. But I get you. But you still got that. Once them standards. Everybody. No, I don't. Uh, okay. Who are we talking about? Okay, and what really? I'm saying is, cool. Maybe even not. With the, but even Maybe with those not. Standards. No, no, no. Let 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 let's run with that narrative. Even let's with run with those that standards, right? You mean to tell me Shorty is on a good day and you run into her on a good day and she's a seven. <laughs> you mean to tell me you're going to dub that? All right, let me ask you a question. And that's, that, that's something that you used to want from back in the day. Let me ask you a question. Am mm-hmm. I, do I want her because of, because. I don't I, know you tell me. Nigga, what's the, what's my question? <laughs> my question? What's my question? <laughs> What's my question? I want her because of who she used to be. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do I want her because of who she used to be or do I want her? Well, that's not the whole question. I mean, he got you, though. <laughs> <laughs> do I want her for who she used to like, be? Like, boom, Halle Berry. Or, shut Ball the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get to, like, he, Yo, that's crazy. he's trying to keep repeating the question. That's cool. No, no, no. no my fault. I wouldn't really hear what he got. My bad. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all, we dog piled on him. I'm playing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want him because? Hey, yo, Ma. Go ahead, go ahead. Do I want her for who she used to be or do I want her for what she has going on right now? Okay. Right? That's two different situations. And, and, and I'm I'm touching whatever is going on right now. You feel me? So even shorties who I've shorties who I've touched in the past and they pull back up. And because we have history, that means I could probably touch again. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Of but if shorty not close to what she was in the past or even nothing about her now is exciting me i'm probably not gonna touch and that's me on you me gonna, i'm gonna and i'm not saying all my standards are super up there yeah, that's, that's but i'm gonna i'm gonna call you bullshit like that, that, but he moved the goalposts like, yeah, yes and i'm gonna call bit. you bullshit you i'm gonna call you right. bullshit why yeah. because the reason of the whole i get yo bro you're not where you used to be i'm not that that narrative i'm not arguing 
I just. Nah. But when Shorty, I every. Mean, I'm about to sound so fucked up for the ladies, and I apologize. I got you. But as they get older, because I got the opposite oh argument. God. No, go. Just go in. Go in. I got the opposite. Nah, nah. Say, 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 say it. Hold on. Go say it all from the top. Say it all from the top. We're gonna go clip this. Ladies, no, I say what you saying. That, right? Say what you saying. As they get older, women fall from grace a little bit as time goes on. Age like milk. Right. And because of that, I feel like just because she's now a seven and she once was a nine, she peaked early. You know what I'm saying? She peaked early. Now she's a seven. You mean to tell me in your brain, you're not going to be like, nah, not for nothing. I wanted you back in the day. You're not as, you not as lit as you once was, but that shit's still poking like how it, it still be poking when it's ready, when it used to poke. You mean to tell me you're not going to touch it? All right, wait, let me, let me, let me, please. Please, please. You don't want me to answer? No, not this one. All right. So, because I got to do it. I'm sorry. I do understand what you're saying, mm-hmm. but that's looking at it through men, patriarchal eyes. I'm a nigga. Yeah, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? That is literally the reason why women got Me Too movements and all of that shit, because they don't like being looked at from the ages of 19 to 25 as their peak. But it's facts. But it's Fuck. not facts. That's not, you can't say that. You, can, you you nigga. If I tell you you peaked from nineteen to twenty five, it's not a fact. I'm not a woman. But wow, that's bad. Ooh. No, wait, no, no, no. That's Ooh. bad, sir. Ooh. Understand? Ooh. Hold on. Ooh. Whoa, Ooh. I'm, I'm trying, trying to save it. I'm yo, trying to yo, save guys, real, oh, guys, yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, let's man. not, let's not oh, have to side. Oh, hold on, man. let me, let me go ahead, let me go ahead. Oh, this is man. a fact. This it ain't, ain't no fact. fucking fact. My okay, so you gonna let me speak or you want to go ahead? I'll let you speak or you let me speak, but we not gonna do this. Go ahead. You want to go ahead? All right, cool. It's a fact. And whether you want it, whether we admit it or don't admit it, when it comes to how we value attraction, we value as men, many times we value women strictly at first off of their looks, right? And women's looks, women's, where their peak or the, the, the attract, the, the highest level of attractiveness is usually in the younger days. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the 20s or the really early 30s. You feel me? Men get a tr- more attractive over time. Men get attractive over time. Women are hit with natural attraction. They're usually born with they're usually born with their looks or they have to work for it a little bit with when it comes to the gym. Men what what makes us attractive to women, we work for that. Yes, we might be a level of whatever funny, but when it comes to money, when it comes to power, when it comes to the things that women actually when it, when a when a woman's telling another woman about a guy, the things that that girl's gonna ask about, those are things that we work towards, and those usually come over time. You feel me? So that's why I'm wrong. telling you. That's why I'm telling you. I'm not saying it to be a dick, but it's a factual thing. That's why. So if a woman wants to be, if a woman wants to change that dynamic, yes, you you do what you can to to to, to say fit and look good as long as possible, but you also do what you can to be more diverse in your attractiveness. And yes, it's not all about money. You can add more value to a nigga's life than just looking good. Okay. The reason, the, the, the reason, the reason I'm, I'm going to say you're wrong, like you're dead ass wrong, is because men run the world. So men have decided what we choose. You're dead ass wrong. Let him go. Let him is, he, is he worse than me in it? Men have decided throughout years what we decided was sexy we've decided we haven't actually okay let me flip it just to give you an example to show you something different if we were in india if you were 13 to 17 that's your peak how do you feel about women 13 to 17 in america hell no anybody whoa it's a fact the peak is a fact right no it's different in different constructs but at the end of the day men control it we decide. That's why they kill themselves to continue to be 20 when they're 30, when they're 40, when they're 50, when your mom is thinking about plastic surgery at 60. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to explain is that it's, it's a man's world and it has been a man's world. And, and we're the one that has been controlling the beauty standard. And when you say it's a fact, is it a fact for your mom? Is it a fact for your daughter? Is it a fact for your sister? Is it a fact for your auntie? 
Is it, you know, is it a fact? I, I don't know that. I can't say that. Yes. Why I say yes. I can't say that. Why I say because yes. I've, I know a lot of beautiful women in their 40s. I know a lot of beautiful women in their 30s. I know a lot of beautiful women in their 50s. I, and and, I, and it's, it's absolutely wrong. But it's absolutely fucking we didn't say wrong. They were ugly. To say that you peaked at 21, but, my but, nigga? But what you you going to live to be yeah. 80? You wanna know what and you only had 20 years of peak? But what kills me? Bro, you? that's whack. Damn that's me. a whack ass concept. Are you done? And that no, and it's a, it's just a whack concept. But are you I, done? I agree with Dame. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry y'all. We gonna live for ninety fucking but years. But are you, you done? So he can 20? speak, nigga. Goddamn. Well, I was got trying to end big, but I can't end big if you saying goddamn. Fucking up my ending. That's a fact. True. You got <laughs> fucking up my ending. He's trying to get a big. He's trying to end big. This is one. This is one dramatic nigga. We've I'm trying to end fire, with the high. I ain't mad at, you I ain't mad at his high. I'm saying we all ended fire sometimes on the show. I ain't mad at his But um, the reason why I, 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 I'm going to rebuttal you a little bit, Dame, is because you're a man of, you you like biology. You love to say biologically. You you do that a lot. Women peak early and and they can't have children over the what is it? Past the age of, 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 of what is it? There's anywhere years, between like 30 something. No, they, they, they can, but it's not the healthiest. It's, the hel- it's, not, it's the not the healthiest. healthiest. And because of that, men. They, there's a clock on them. It's a clock on them. And yeah. we know that the, we say it all the time. Women have a biological clock that allows them to want to do things within a certain time. Because once they get to that certain point, it's just over for them. Mm. And, not, and when I say over for them, I'm not. I'm not saying that they can't do it reproductively. But they, like, it yeah. just it just becomes it's harder. harder. It's harder. It is harder. So in terms of wooing a man, courting a man, and and conceiving a child for a man, it, it becomes very very tricky during that time. You, you move the goalposts. Yo. No, but it's all a part of it. Nigga, it's beauty. all a part of the no, it, it's, nigga. All, it's all a part of the gauge. Because nah. look at it like this. It's nigga. all a part of the uh, age wait, wait, wait. factor. Their beauty. The time that they can conceive children, they can they can carry children, they can do all of the things that they want to do. They can have a child to snatch back. Is during what time period? It's a it, it's it's all a part. Right, so fortunately, whereas now as a man, I can be sixty and oh shoot the fucking club up oh, and have gray that? hairs. And guess what? Women can say, you know what, Barry, you look very distinguished. I fuck mm. with that. Hold- so 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 hold on hold on no 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 give me a second give me a second the person who sets the beauty standard or whatever is the people who are attracted to the beauty so you say men run the world but no nigga i can't tell a woman what she should be attracted to me for i can't be like because i look good and but i'm broke at 36 with no money but i'm fine as fuck you know what i'm saying that you should pick me over another nigga you you can't i can't i need you to listen to me Mm-hmm. I cannot tell a woman what she needs to be attracted to. The True. same reason why women can't tell men what they need to be attracted to. Now, that. we can come to an understanding that certain ideolo- ideology and certain things that's been embedded into us are a little True. bit toxic in a way. That's but funny. at the end of the day, natural and, and what we naturally view, we go outside to impress the opposite sex. If that's there was right. never, I'm wearing a hood right now because I don't got a haircut because women watch the show. Not because niggas. So understand something. Number one. Well, let me see your haircut. Hold on. I'm gonna show you after. Okay. Number one. Dandelion. Number one. Number one. Number one. Understand something, right? A woman who's right. a woman who's um four. A woman who's thirty five to forty. Mm-hmm. Right. They. Uh, okay. Let's just say two people, man and woman. No, no, no. I, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to break it down for you. Follow. My bad. Okay. Listen, listen. I got you. I got you. I just want to make this point. I feel like after I make this one point, we're gonna have a, a better understanding the way we b- build this bridge, right? A man and a woman who are both twenty-five. Usually, a man at twenty-five, he hasn't um, developed. You know, he hasn't made a lot of money. He's That's now. He hasn't. He hasn't. Has, oh, exactly. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Cut you off. Go. So no, no. So exactly. He just said he hasn't peaked yet. That means that there's a peak age for a man. Yes. Right? Now, when a man hits 30, between the ages of 35 to 40 is where a man gets into his, is fi- he finds himself, yep. he start, he begins to find his purpose, he begins to, you know, yep. generate himself as a man, man and now he's 20. generating income and he's also 
uh, established in a way. Those qualities are attractive to the opposite sex. That's why younger women, when we're, I remember being around 19 to 25, even now at 27, women are attracted to older men who are established. And also men do, they, they, you, there are men, I have a, bro, I went out the other day with my bro who is 44. Son looks 29. He he's going out with 44 year old. Yeah, he's really he's an older guy, but God he looks damn. Y'all look the same. I promise no, you. No, don't fuck. I'm gonna show relax, relax. I'm gonna I'm show you my bro. Relax, relax, relax. Right. He's probably gonna no, watch I'm this. Trying to listen. So he he looks, he looks, he's an older guy, but he still looks great. You know what I'm saying? But he has money and he's 44. Mm -hmm. He can get any woman that he wants. Now, understand something. A younger man, he's gonna win. He's gonna okay. win because he's established. Okay. Now, when it comes to women. Yes, it sounds bad, but it only sounds bad because we grade ourselves differently. We're not, right. we're not the same. And because we're not the same, once you understand that you're not the same, you decide to, okay, where can I win? What makes me different? And let me excel in that realm, or let me see what can make me diverse in addition to excelling in that realm. So women, when they get, well, the older that they get, yes, they do technically lose value because they're attracting this phase now understand something a woman who's just attractive and fine as fuck at 50 that's cool but what else do you what, what else do you have and that's rare that's very rare mm. ah, that hurt. I want to argue That's with you wait, so bad. I, 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 mm, I, 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 mm, I, I, I want to. I want to. Mm, I, I want to like strike that from the record. That's it. Uh, you know how you want to strike no, it. From the record, that no. Was, no, no, no. Because you said a whole lot of shit that I want to talk about with you, and I want to talk towards. But then he I like threw the little. You. He threw I, the ah in the I end. It's like yeah, yeah. I got. I got to throw some. I was with I got to throw some real toxic shit in there. You know, I respect it. Though. You know my vibe. You know my vibe. You know my vibe. The whole time I was with you. I was watching Fresh and Fit the other day. Fucked me up. And then you said that. Fighting, bro. They, yeah, they, 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 they're bad. They no, no, no. Well, look, like, let me, let me clear up. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, yes, when women, the older women get, technically, we value women based off their looks, okay. right? Right, based off society the looks, wise. society wise. Okay. We don't necessarily look at what a woman has financially and go, oh my God, wow, really, six doctorates? Wow, you make four hundred thousand a year, amazing. It might look attractive off rip to niggas with no bread, but if you're a nigga with bread, her bread doesn't matter because in your mindset. And your, no, no, no. If you a nigga with bread, her bread doesn't technically matter because your mindset is, you know, it, it's 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 a good. I, I'm glad she has money for her. But I got your 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 mindset is not that you are moving in a man. You're moving you're moving in a in a realm where you are moving as a protector. You're moving as a provider okay, naturally. Okay, 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 my bad, bro. I got it because you, you you keep adding on and it's hard to answer it. when you listen for 15 minutes. It's like shit. I need my bad. I, I should have said notes. that. I should have said that first. As a man, we notes. naturally want to protect and provide when it comes to our women. Sure. So when a woman has attributes that are masculine sure. in our realm where it's financial about protecting we don't care and okay. women feel the same way that's why every woman gotcha. no matter how much money they make they naturally say he either has to make the same, the same or, more. or more okay because right. they agree all right all right, all right. You, just, you spoke to a lot of points my bad so to I say literally in my head i was like trying to say point a point b point c to like, all down. It, no but it was a lot and then you threw that little old shit it's like god damn come on bro god damn fuck i'm responding to that all right um so my bad. Just give me a second. Oh, first off, all right. Fuck. We got to go all the way back to the attractiveness between your peak at a certain age and your um, your age when you have babies. Is what y'all talking about, right? Like when women can, that's you know, have age. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm really. I was trying to. I have points for each one, but like, you, well, don't, don't, don't. God damn it! Let me finish. So what I'm saying is the reason why that's bullshit. Is because women waste all their good years fucking with niggas that ain't trying to have babies. And that's why they be so upset. They like, no. They're like, oh no, these are my baby years. Guess who ain't trying to have babies? Dang. Y'all niggas. I'm just, Dang. just keep, I'm keep, hold you. Keep, okay. keep going. I apologize. I don't care if you disagree, say, fam. Just say, bad point. Just keep going. I don't care if you disagree, but we say the women are the sexiest between 20 and 20 to 35 and all the women are like yeah here's all my pussy here's 
I want to support and love everything, but we're not, not trying to have a whole lot of babies. We're not on that. We're not on loving and family. We're just trying to fuck because you look good because this is your good years. Right? I'm so that's wild to me. To it's a wild concept good. to me as a man because it's fucking stupid. It's like, I just want to fuck you in your good years. Who fault is that? Who fault that's is not that? trash, bro. No, you control your pussy, shorty. Stop that. No, 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 but no, it, it, wow. it is, it, it is trash, bro. It is trash. Y'all don't hear it that? Trash. No, 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 no. I can't. You just that. told me that women peak by like 35, yes. right? Uh huh. And so from 25 to 35, mm. when you say, oh, but well, this is when she's the most babe, she can, Yo, um, she can, hold on. What is Yo. the word? Pro, pro, procreate, she's procreate, whatever. Right. She's, she's the most right. open to procreate. Do those years, you just want to hit. Yo, okay. bro, bro. You don't want to procreate you, with the motherfucker. You, hold on, hold on. So right. what? So we're wasting? You're, you yo, 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 yo. You are looking at a, you're, you're talking about a caliber. You're talking about two different things. We're I'm talking not, about. I'm just trying to tell you what about, I was trying to tell you at that point. We're talking point. about a level of attractiveness to a goal. But what is it that you're attracted to, my nigga? Pussy or. You are. Or, what the, or the reason why you wouldn't be with this woman because she's older. Because so, she can't procreate. So we. No, no, no. I, I have. You the one brought that shit up. No, no, no. I never. I didn't bring that up. But that's I, the reason why that was bullshit. No, and I was like, I'm trying to listen, but I'm like, no. So that. again, bullshit. I didn't bring that up because for that's me, bullshit. for me, again, I am. We're, we're literally point. talking about your peak. Your peak is peak? deemed by, nigga. Your peak is deemed by what the opposite sex does the, mean. The um views as optimal attractiveness, where at a particular age you can have. A condone of you have a, a well roundedness of what we deem to be attractive. In my personal opinion, that's you. That's usually between twenty eight and thirty three, right? Twenty eight and thirty three, closer to thirty five. You feel me? Where you are still vibrant, young, active, beautiful, but yes, you are all closer to thirty. Where you're smart, you've experienced. You probably have a business. You have a different type of mindset. Right. Uh, the kids' point. I, I'm not making the kids point. It just happens to land in that around that time. That's what I'm saying. But for a but man, it's also bullshit. If you're a woman and you can only have this stance because you're a man, because I'm the one who's attracted to women. No, but it's also bullshit because imagine being on the other side and you're like, well, damn, I didn't make myself. But my nigga, we're on the other side where we're saying right now, all right, right now, un saying? understand, understand. Let's, let's, let's flip the script. Point that let's, let's flip the script. Let's hit the old point. Now let's because flip the script. Let's flip the script. We that's are, what I was trying to hold on. Let's flip the script. We are men right now. Okay. I'm 27. I, I don't, I just 69, 69 whatever. Yeah. I'm 20, I'm 27. You are definitely he not was born the year right? that Martin Luther King got killed. No, 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 no. He was, he was born in 68. No, no, he was born the year that Martin Luther King was born. Listen, understand we are men right now. You want to know what makes us right. Okay. You could, you could, women might think I'm attractive, right? From time to time, not all the time. That might that that'll, that'll get me in the door. That'll get Shorty to respond. And that was only my first point. I'm sorry. But just, just, after a while, now they're looking to understand. Okay, what can you do for me? So who are you? What can you provide? But I want to get Shorty to stick on the point that I'm funny and I'm attractive. Let me let me let, let that me. be enough. But wait, wait. But stop, I, stop, cannot stop, 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 her, I cannot Rick, tell her. I cannot tell. I cannot tell her. I'm only gonna cut you off because this was my second point, and I had I literally was making points in my head. The other point was we talked about how women want you we know we, what we can provide for a woman right mm -hmm. you know that they develop that over time they don't feel like that as hold yes. on stop as kids that girl liked you in second grade she liked you second and grade is seven years old do you understand what I'm, no but i'm giving you this point on purpose i don't give a fuck what y'all you already know i'll give a she fuck. didn't need nothing from me as... fuck if nobody agrees with me but what I'm trying to say is no, that I'm, same I'm, I'm, I'm person, with she liked you and loved you when you was 10, 11, that you little girl. You couldn't provide a motherfucker. Nothing. She was falling in you love with you. Milk, she was like, oh my God, I just hope he'd sit next to me to lunch. Yeah. I would do everything for him. I love this guy. Now, she, she she was your crush at 12. She loved you and we then. are no longer 12. We are grown ass people. So imagine if, me with so the imagine bullshit. if. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So imagine oh. if you said, oh shit. I love you two at 12. And you two 12 year olds uh -huh. decided to get 30 and get 40 and get 50 and become a family. I'm just giving an example. What I'm trying to say is she learns that men have to provide. She don't know that as a kid. But it doesn't come no. out. That's, 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 that's a very specific But it's a very point. specific very, thing yeah, because we say, oh, well, it's only what we could provide. Who is teaching her that? Well, guess what she had a crush. 
No, no, no. She was in love with whatever people, rapper she put up on her while she was in love. No, Dave, no. and that same thing that you're saying what? up, people don't teach her that. Life teaches her that. That's Duh, nigga. What true. are you talking about? No, fact, bro. That's a fact, We Dave. fall in love? Are you talking about, you talking about a 12-year-old girl falling in love? That's not true. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. The reason please why that's not true? The reason why? No. Please allow me to land my plane. Life teaches everybody go. Can I land my plane, Let everybody go. Can I land my plane, It's his birthday, nigga. It's his birthday. Fuck his birthday, man. That's a bad point. I don't like his birthday. Fuck his birthday. Fuck his point. What are we saying? Fuck that. I'd rather debate. Fuck his birthday. At 12, at 2, at 6, at 5. Cool, she loves you for you. But guess what? Life Life happens. You cannot take away the factor of life in anybody's situation. So because of that, Shirley's going to grow up and learn that, you know what, shit, this has to happen for me. But why? That has to happen for me. Because it happens. No, life. because this motherfucker's like what y'all said, teaching no, 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 that. No, 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 no. no. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because of what you said. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Dave, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You don't come into this world knowing that, my nigga. Oh, wait, wait, flip the script. Why do, men, why do men, why do men oh, feel the, the fuck? why do men feel the need that we have to provide financially and provide because physically? Because you just said, once I can provide for you, I got money, I got everything, no, I win. No, 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 no. Why do we feel that way? Why do because I, why? That's, as a woman, that's their consolation prize because that's all they can do, right? Wait, you feel, no, no, no. What, 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 what do you, you wait? What, no, no. What, why do oh, I, why do I, why do I, why, wait, let me finish the question you answered. Why do I, I'm, I have to flip the script because I don't know, you are on a feminist what? rampage where you don't even understand the male point of view no more. Exactly. What I want to understand is why do I, the same way women feel a way, why do I feel like I need to make as much money as possible so I can provide for my wife, my kids, my mother, my sister, and all the people, especially the women in my life? Why do I feel like that? Because the women in your life have learned, like what we're saying, that it's bullshit once life hits you. And this is the way that they need to treat us. So we feel that we need to be a certain way to treat them a certain way also. What I'm saying is, explain. No, no, explain. the I'm reason good. why I went back to being kids and I fuck with you because you got kids, there's no idea. Your son is not like, I got to provide for a girl. Your daughter is not like, I can't wait to get a motherfucker to pay for me. We don't have these ideas and these ideals. We don't, we're not born with this shit. So when you say facts, it's a lie. Cause it's not a fact, my dude. You was taught that. You was taught that. So we were all taught that shit. So and it I'm, fucks with me because I'm I, mean, I be looking. I be like, "What, well, dude? Is it really?" So, so wait, wait. I'm taught. I'm taught. You're basically you're saying that I've been taught by society, right? And, and it's, I've been taught by society that I need to prevent, protect, and provide for a woman. Now, let me ask you a question: mm -hmm. Which society has taught me? Is it the recent society, or is it twenty? 2000 or is it years ago when women were nurturers and men were hunters and gatherers and things of that nature where they provided the food and the shelter and women took care of the children and provided yeah, comfort so hold on, I, 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 hold on i want to know i want to know which i want to know i just want to know which which society made me feel this way please the society that made you feel that way was literally the religious society that's what they taught us. That's what they taught us. The, the, the man that, that says that the woman is just that Can I go after and the man is just Please this, me they, and, they, and they taught us that shit, fam, in real life. That's what, when they tell us that Eve fucked it all up for all of us, so we all pretty much feel like, well, fuck Eve. Well, fuck Eve. All y'all's is Eve's. It's like, well, not really. It's like, but have you ever really, do we know where these stories come from? Can do I, we get this or we don't understand it? Like, I got you. Can I? Can I? Can I? I it's have way statement. deeper than y'all think. Can I, I, have a, I have a. I have a statement to make, right? It's way deeper Damn, than y'all think. Yo. I know you a little. I know you a little bit, right? And to me, one thing I've heard you say reoccurring from a long time when it comes, especially when coming to relationships and love, yeah, is that you feel that even in the basic form, love should be just contingent upon just how you. You just liking somebody because I like you and I because I see you and I like your energy. That's just what it is. Yeah. And one thing that I've learned is that love is never just that ever. Wait, it's what? contingent upon the fact of what it is that you can do for me and make me better as a person. For example. Wait, no, I don't. For example. We're in, Shorty, I'm, I'm, just follow me. Just give me, just give me a little wiggle. Compatibility. How, how do you help? How, how do we work together? Exactly. For example, Shorty, 
That Say, I agree. Sh- yeah. Shorty. It's working. Hey. It's working. Life happens, like I said before. Yeah. And because life happens, cool. What is it that you can do for me to provide for me as, a, as an individual to help my life become better? Yeah, that's the basic of all relationships. Cool. I got you. Now, as a man. Give and take, pretty much. As a man, now, what is it that I would want from you for me to feel accomplished or better? Right. An offspring. And why you become, why you create this? Not everybody, not everybody. Hold on. But that's the part but, that's blowing me. But at, for, for me to conceive this offspring, when is the best and viable time for you to conceive this offspring for me? But if you're not, that, that's bullshit. No, you it's doing not that. bullshit. This is little. No, I'm bringing it back oh, to the sh- specific point of what you said. I'm spe- I'm re- and and I, and I and I and I and I and I get what you're saying, and I'm with you. But I unfortunately I disagree. And maybe and maybe my viewpoint is skewed because of that. But I personally feel like, yo, real talk. Love is just never that simple ever. And how you and how you deem it, and I, and and being in a relate, how you deem it, I just don't see it to be that way Sheesh. ever. Unfortunately, it'll never. No matter how, no matter how the world is spun, it will never be that simple ever. So unless uh, you're seven years old. So there was a, there was a point that I just um said to Jason, right? I know someone. Um, I don't think they'll ever watch this. I know someone who was in a relationship. Is I got we got five. I know someone who's in a relationship, right? They were a relationship for about 15, 17 years or a very long relationship. Mm-hmm. They weren't able to have a children, but the guy really, really wanted children of his own. He really, really wanted his culture kind of pushed on it, his family kind of pushed on it. That was his ideal, and that's what he wanted. And not her not them not being able to bear children together really, really created problems in the relationship. So eventually they broke up, and within less than a year. He met someone else. They had great chemistry. He got together with her. He got her pregnant. They expecting a kid on the way now. He's the happiest he has ever been. Right? And and why why does that matter, right? He wanted a kid and the woman that he was with wasn't able to give him a kid. Mm-hmm. Now, in my personal opinion, we could talk about that and be like, damn, that's fucked up. Damn, that's a little I fucked I up. I, I get it. Okay. Damn, that's a little fucked up. Mm-hmm. But Shorty wasn't able to provide what he wanted out of her throughout his life what he expected expected and what he desired from his feminine counterpart he wasn't able to receive now there is there is a natural there's a natural um there's natural give and take between the masculine there's a mat yeah it's a very strong situation but is like anything else like and i'm like this should just sit here like anything else we all have to make decisions that's enough that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's natural and that's tough this that's is skill tough. okay hey, oh my god chess <laughs> <laughs> yo boy um so like anything else like anything else yes there's a give and take and we all have to make very difficult decisions for our ultimate happiness at the end of the day, which might be contrary to society or contrary to everyone. Love is not what love is not the, the basis. Love is not the the basis of a strong relationship for the end. What I'm trying to get you to understand is he had to make. He had to make it. Huh? Talk, talk, talk. He had to make a decision that he felt was best for him because what and I understand there are. There are families where if the man is is not able to, if the man is not contributing, if he's not able to help, if he's not able to provide, but understand that there's a masculine role, bro. There's everyone has a masculine and a feminine inside of them. We need both. And each in and, and each role, and, and we 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 own that role. But the reason why you move the goalpost once again is because you mentioned the one dude. That was here to have some babies and so what happens is and what i hate that men don't like to admit is that we fuck a whole lot of fucking girls in their fucking peak and we're not trying to have babies my nigga so you talking about the one dude that's trying to have babies and he's like yo if you that one girl for me it's and, and I hate yo, 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 don't yo, yo, hold on, hold on. Shit, wait, 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 wait. What, what do babies that bothers me? My what nigga? do babies have to do with That's this? All I'm trying to say. Wait, wait, tell me what wait. you tell me. What do babies have to do with? Because you just went through a whole motherfucking story about, about babies, my nigga. Attractiveness of what say, you could provide for can me. I, can I say something? Can I, can I say something? Can I say wow. something? How about this? I, and I'm not real. everybody just wanna fuck, bro. Let him say his last. Let him say his last point. You gotta go. You gotta go. 
make your last point. No, I, I, I would like to say something so we can move on. But but what you did do ever so fucking eloquently during this story. Yes. What you did paint the, you the, the picture that you painted was. Excuse me. The pic the, the picture that you. He doesn't understand. Well, I, can't hear point. I, I, I hate this nigga right now because he doesn't fucking understand. Damn, they hear, like, I hear you. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> so what you painted ever so eloquently was that the man in this story wanted something, wanted one thing more importantly from a woman that he couldn't get. I wanted kids. So you, you already, you, 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 you phrased the whole story with here. One wanted kids, one couldn't give kids. So it's a, it's a turmoil, it's conflict. So what happens is now he meets another person who can give him kids. And now it, it's a whole thing. It, it, it's, it's, no, 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 let me, let me finish. Let me, you guys, finish. Are, you guys are taking it way too little. I'm not. Come on, come on. I'm not. You because know you're gonna forget. I'm not going to forget. Well, I'm, I'm, fuck it's you, way too little. motherfucker. But I was about to say the B word, but I don't take a shot. But what I'm saying is when, when, when you say one specific thing and, and you introduce one specific thing, we all are hearing that one thing. So you're, you're saying is your homeboy really wanted kids. He dealt with a young lady that he so, really fucks with. That was my they, fault. That they, was my fault. Cool. They couldn't have kids. So because of that, they didn't work. He, your homeboy, now met another individual. They're dealing with each other. Now mm -hmm. she gets pregnant. Now he's like, "Oh, you're everything that I wanted. You're everything that I needed." But, Not everything. But, but, but so this is why I'm saying this is why I'm saying so, taking me literal because everyone, everyone, everyone feels like they need something or want something that's in a relationship, right? And I'm using the kids' preference as a point. Now there are people in relationships where. The guy is cool, funny, he's great, he's respectable, but he's not ambitious, he's he's kind of lazy, he doesn't really push her to want more, and he doesn't want more himself, right? After a while, this woman might be like, you know, this is not the kind of guy that I want. I want a guy who's industrious, I want a you guy who works... Post, well. I'm not moving the goalpost. You, you, you talk like how you ask women how many people you don't fuck, but she's like, all my I, relationships. Well, first of all, I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't you know ask that question. But you, what I'm, you, what I'm saying is, I use, I use, the, I use the kid aspect as a point of literally saying okay. some, of literally saying you can't tell me what to want. Yeah, you gotta go, bro. Uh, yeah, we can let that. No, but I'm saying literally, mm -hmm. like timeline. Mm -hmm. What time is it? Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta go. Finish, finish your point. You, you, gotta go. you gotta go. I ain't trying to be a dick. You gotta go. Finish your point. You can't. You if if you want my attention and attraction, you can't tell me what to want. You feel me? And if you're not able to provide what I want, then it is what it is. But you can't and, say what you want based off what a person is naturally born with. And then tell them that you only got this to this to do this for me. And then if it's not that, then fuck you. You can't do that. And the reason you can't do that is because you're talking something that's fucking natural. And and here's and that's unfair because but, you still fucking. But here's the point. Here's, bro. The, here's the point. Please. And you ain't want to be. And I'm not trying to be a dick. No, but, here's, but, the but point, no here, here's the point. Here's the thing. Like you say, you keep, oh, it's based you off keep the saying, kids. You keep like, saying, is it based off the you kids? Keep, I'm not saying everything is based off the kids. I use one example about what someone actually wanted. Women yeah, want naturally. Yeah. Most women are going to say most women are going to say that they want tall men. They want men over six feet. They do something. naturally. Yeah. These two gentlemen, no one close to six feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you could have shot. These two, these two, these two gentlemen, <laughs> these two gentlemen. Why did I do this? <laughs> 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 yeah, why these, did you do this? Listen, listen, listen. These two gentlemen, women are gonna naturally say that they want a guy over six feet. These two yeah. gentlemen, nowhere close to six feet. But I've seen <laughs> why you say nowhere, nowhere close. <laughs> I'm close. <laughs> no fucking point. No, 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 no. I got you. I got you. These two gentlemen, no, are not six feet, right? But, <laughs> but I've seen them attract women in multiple other ways, right? I've seen them I be mean, able to. I've, I've, surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe can I finish? So I can go cut this and post it. Go ahead, go ahead, right? Go ahead. Understand that most. What, what I'm saying is that. Most women said they're attractive to taller men. Like, like okay. men are going to say they're attractive to women with nice fit bodies and who are cooperative, who are not really argumentative, right? 
So understand, but they're not they're not six feet or up. Okay. But they have other qualities that are also so attractive and so appealing that yeah. women are saying, man, the six feet thing is probably not even that bad, right? It's negotiable. So where it's negotiable and I could probably live without it. So what they're doing is they're not complaining about something that's natural. These niggas are not getting no taller, right? They're not complaining. <laughs> Why do you keep going? Let me finish. No, 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 no. All right. No, 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 no. All right. All right. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, they're I not. I feel away They're, they're not. Like, I want to fight. Can you listen? Can you listen? This is a great point. They're not going to get any taller, but they have made a, a point to have great skin, right? Have good swag, right? Take care of themselves. Make sure they're pursuing a career financially. Learn so they can attract women and go ahead and do what they have to do to get the kind of women they want. And as men, we have no problem doing that because we understand everything is competition and nothing is handed to us. Now, the difference is why I believe that you're moving in the feminine you, you right know, now. You know how we move. You're moving in the feminine right now where you feel like things are just supposed to be given and some women don't want to have to work towards what they say they want, right? No, you say that's you bad. want a, You say you want a particular kind of man, but you don't want to have to work for it. If a woman says she wants a nigga that makes 200 plus a year, right? And is six feet and is handsome, great skin. I'm going to take care of my skin. I'm going to bust my ass. I naturally have the six feet plus from God, but I still have to do the rest to keep this woman, bro. Why? Because this is no, a... No, no, not you. Not your, why, your perspective. Why do they feel that way? Bro, they feel, uh, understand, understand something, right? We all, from every, different cultures, different cultures, culturally, different cultures desire... Different, yeah, I got you. I'm about to wrap it up. Different cultures desire different things. And if you feel like our culture or if you feel like all cultures have been manipulated, I want you to understand something. Every Everyone's society evolves. Right now, in our society, this is what's desired. Just like how 30 years ago, a particular style of fashion was desired. So if you want to be desired, you have to adjust. If you don't want to adjust, then you're not going to be desired. And you have to be complacent and happy with the decision that you're making by not wanting to put in the work to I go ahead and that. be desired. Yeah, but go ahead that. and be desired by that oh, thing. Yeah, the no, same no, way no, when I it comes that. to a job. I agree that. Yeah, no, if no, you don't no, want to meet the qualifications to get the position, then don't go ahead and meet the qualifications. Why? Nigga. The reason I asked you why is why about 20 minutes ago I said this is a patriarchal society. So we decided that that's what women need to be. Duh. Go ahead, Dane. Make your fucking point because now I'm here with you. Hey, nigga. But you decided that. Yes. Right. We. This but, is what has been decided. Once again. And until it has evolved, this is what it is. But it can't evolve, my nigga, if you keep teaching people the same shit. Think about what you're saying. If it's men teaching the world what the fuck men want, mm -hmm. how do we expect a woman to teach anybody to teach anything. anybody anything? To be when it's a man when telling it's you her, telling her teaching her mm -hmm. this is what you do, this is how you do it. Mm -hmm. You need to do this because if you don't do so it, so she's gonna be like, well, that. I guess this is what I gotta mm -hmm. do because because. That is what we desire at the point until we have evolved our desires. The yeah, same way, the yeah, same, no, no, we got to end it. The same way women are going to tell men what they desire. And as they, and their women, as their desires, evo yourself, as their, man. as their desires no. evolve, no, 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 no. as their desires God. evolve, there are going to be different qualifications, different attributes that, my That's, nigga, no. different qualifications, different attributes that are necessary for men to have. At one point, it was for men to be big and strong where they can go ahead and have as many women as they want. Or go ahead and do whatever they can. Now it's more of a financial. At one point it won't be this right, financial. It's whatever bullshit, they can bro, handle bro, mentally. I don't want to understand. You. The goalpost is always going to I don't change. Want to talk you. The goalpost you, is always going to change based on whatever that woman desires at that time. But the same oh, way the goalpost lie, is going man. to change. And the reason, well, nah, you know, I'm sorry because I'm calling you a liar. My bad. I'm not calling you. You're, you're, you're fighting. You're fighting the world. I'm not fighting what you. Yo, bro, I mean, it's a game. Either you play the game or you don't play the game. I'm making the game. My nigga, you create the game, so you create the play. I'm 27. I'm 27. I'm 27. I'm 27. It don't know, but I'm, I'm saying men in general, we're the ones creating the fucking game. We're creating the problem. We're creating the issue. If we create no and control, shut that. up. You create all the problems you have. I we all create every problem that Happy we birthday. have in general, my nigga. We're creating our problems. Bro, we created. You create the woman that you want. So you make this woman feel the way that she fucking feels. So when she feels how she feel, how you mad? You created that shit. If you tell her that all the women over 45 was amazing with six babies, that's the best looking woman. They would be 45 oh, with six babies nah. over 45. But see that? 
That's what I'm trying to say. We create it because it's a patriarchal world, and that's what's been blowing me the whole that, time. And that's LeBron picking his teammates and then and blaming him because your team sucks, my nigga. So, so what you're telling what, you, what you're telling me is that the woman that I'm picking, the yes. woman that I've created, yes, right. When the woman, when when women don't want to become that woman, then what? You will move on to another woman in her peak. So another woman and who you decide. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Another <laughs> woman who wants to become that woman. Yeah, you gotta go, bro. All right, guys, listen. Thank you. Understand, <laughs> something, understand yo, Fuck, that is another episode of Willow Wednesdays. <laughs> yes, we weren't able to, you know, Philly come to, a, time, come to a, a, a conclusion. But I mean, in these comments, go ahead and tell us, you know, what, what do you feel like you desire from the opposite sex right now in your society? Do you agree with Dame's topic? Do you, do you agree with Dame's point? <laughs> do you agree with my point, right, of yeah, facts and bullshit? But thank you all so much. Catch us next week here at Willow Wednesdays. <laughs> they won't be here no more. In the show. You about Fuck to fire him. Uh, Stay yeah, blessed no. and beautiful, family. All right, no, we see y'all next week, Mo. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace.